kila mtoto akiwa na haki ya kupata masomo licha ya maumbile. Mwanzilishi wa shirika la Jonathan Ray of Hope Caroline Kisuge amesikitika kuwa watoto wanaoishi na ulemavu wanakumbwa na changamoto nyingi za kutopata elimu bora kutokana na ukosefu wa shule maalumu za kutosha. Kisuge akitoa wito kwa washikadau kutoka kila county kuhakikisha kuwa kuna shule za watoto wanaoishi na ulemavu. The issues that we had are uh, schools for children with neurodiversity and developmental disorders at least one within the constituency so that it can help our parents to find educational placement for their children most of our children with the developmental disability and autism have got challenge and they don't do the regular curriculum their curriculum is a stage based curriculum which is uh, actually different from the normal curriculum that is offered in school that is why it is very difficult for them to go through inclusive mostly those who have be, who are having cognitive development. Uh, the stage-based curriculum starts from foundation level uh, where the beginners from home uh, come home, come to school and then it goes to intermediate level, then to vocational, pre-vocational level, then vocational level and finally uh, after vocational we have what is called sheltered workshop. Sheltered workshop helps children with a developmental disability in the competitive market because it is where they are employed and they are paid under supervision because most of them do not understand uh, the, the world market is competitive for them. So if they get somewhere where they can be uh, understood, then they can also earn a living because most of them are talented and they have unique skills. Nikiti wa NGCDF Jimbo Larongo Maureen Auma Akisema kuwa wamejitolea kujenga shule maalum za watoto wanaoishi na ulemavu katika jimbo hilo la rogo ili kuwapunguzia wazazi mzigo wa kuwaelimisha watoto wao. Kwa upande wake mratibu wa baraza la taifa la watu wanaoishi na ulemavu kaunti ya Migori Roslyn Ayuke akiwataka wanajamii wa Migori kuingilia kati na kuwasaidia wazazi wale. We are going to build a class for this special student through CDF so that all students who are uh, disability can also reach their level can also reach to school a lot of challenges in the society with issues of disability from the from the time they are born it is a big challenge Rehema Jones mzazi mwenye mtoto anayeishi na ulemavu akisisitiza umuhimu wa jamii katika kutowatenga wazazi wenye watoto wanaoishi na ulemavu katika jamii ili kupunguza unyanyapaa. Simple request to the concerned officers as parents there at the local level we don't get information on time. Maybe it's bursary or it's any other kind of support that is coming to the groups for people with disability. Could you please find a, a system where you can convey the message on, on time so that we can respond effectively so that our children may benefit. Mary Kialo, Undugu TV.